Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a fabulous day. Today I have a little bit of a different video as I wanted to share how I pack my Louis Vuitton Keepall 45 bandolier for the weekend. We are heading out and I figured it would be the perfect opportunity for me to be able to share just how much this item fits. I know some people find it to be a little too small. I think it's perfect for a three-day weekend, even a four-day weekend. I can get away with carrying uh, quite a bit. So I hope that this video is helpful, especially if you're looking to add this item to your collection. And what I will do, I will uh, move the camera angle down so you guys have a better visual of what um, I'm packing in here. So again, I hope that you enjoy this video. If you do, make sure and give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get started, shall we? All right, so hopefully this camera angle ends up working out. I decided to zoom out just a tad so you guys can not only see the key ball, you can also see the items that are gonna be going in here. Uh, all right, and here, once again, here is the 45, the bandolier. It is completely empty. I do have the strap, the shoulder strap that comes with it. It's off to the side. I usually like to put that on right before we end up leaving. Uh, all right, so let me open this up. And uh, as I go through the video, I'll end up just kind of opening it up so you guys can see how everything is kind of fitting inside. Uh, okay, so first things first, I have a total of two pairs of shoes. The first ones are Chanel Ballerina flats, and I have each of these in their dust bags. And anytime I use the keep ball for travel, if I do have shoes in here, I find it easier to put the shoes at the bottom because I feel that it kind of gives me a type of, it kind of lines the bag, you know, just because this item isn't, doesn't have a whole lot of structure. So by doing this, I feel that it makes it a little bit easier to kind of fit the items inside. You know, maybe it's my own uh, crazy thoughts. Uh, the other pair of shoes are Chanel Espadrilles and I put these in uh, one dust bag again. So I just put those at the very bottom and you can see that I'm kind of lining it right there. Okay, now as far as clothing goes, I have a total of three pairs of jeans. And anytime it comes to clothing in the keep all, I personally like to roll them. I feel that it ends up giving me a lot more space. And I also find that the items don't tend to get as wrinkled, you know? And of course, whenever I get to my destination, I take everything out and I either use the, the drawers, you know, in the hotel room, and I end up using the hangers that are in the room as well so that my items don't stay in such a confined space. So the first thing I have, um, this pair of jeans here that I just end up rolling up kind of like so and I put these always next to the shoes again because I feel that they're they're a little bit thicker and it lines the bag a little bit more and it's a little bit more even I should say with the shoes so I have another pair of jeans or anything thicker I I should say I like to line the bag with okay and another pair of jeans so a total of three and remember this is a weekend getaway so for me, I always like to have options, you know what I mean? If we're gone for two days, I like to have maybe three to four different outfits just in case, you, know, you never know with the weather and you never know, you know, what kind of mood you're gonna be in. What if you don't wanna wear this, that, or the other? I don't know. <laughs> uh, all right, next I have a total of, I believe five shirts that I set to the side. Um, and these I also uh, end up rolling up just a tad and these fit right on top. So currently I have the three jeans here, I have the two pairs of shoes, so my liner, if you will, and then I'll just end up putting my shirts right on top, like that. I don't know. Robert thinks that I'm like ridiculously organized when it comes to my keep ball. Maybe, maybe not. So I have another shirt here that I ended up rolling up. All right, shirt number three. Shirt number four, <laughs> you need options. A girl needs options. And then I also have uh, this shirt here. So a total of five shirts. All right, there we go. And I also have uh, a cardigan or a small sweater that I like to put right next to it. I also have my jam jams. All right, if you guys know what that is. <laughs> I tend to have a couple pairs of jam jams just because you never know. Okay, so now I have two layers, if you will. So I have the shoes and the jeans on the bottom. The next layer on top are my shirts and then my, uh, my PJs. Okay, and then I have uh, my jewelry that I like to have, um, usually in a little holder. But my wonderful friend Monique, she surprised me with this the other day. So now I am using this to store all of my jewelry whenever we travel. I was using the, um, the Louis Vuitton sunglass case just because it's also the microfiber lining. Uh, okay, and I'm also taking an extra little handbag or in this case, the Dior wallet on chain since I am going to be using another handbag when we get to our destination. And this one, I just like to put off to the side. 
okay? So let me open this up so you guys can see it. So I have the wallet on chain there and then the layers that I have on top of each other. Okay, now here I have my unmentionables, right? Is that what, is that what you call them? <laughs> my other things that I need. And those I put off to the side with the jewelry. Let me turn this around so you guys can see it a little bit better. So here I have my unmentionables, right? Is that what you call it? I don't know, you guys are probably <laughs> you guys are probably laughing or screaming at the screen saying, no, that's not what you say. Uh, and then the jewelry holder right over there. So once again, here we go. And I have two items left. And the first one is my Louis Vuitton um, shawl, my denim shawl. Now with this one, usually when we travel, I end up carrying it with me. Uh, like if we're going on a plane or anything like that, I like to have this on me. Uh, but since we are traveling by car, it's just going to go in here as a just in case. Uh, but I do have the option of putting it inside of my, um, inside of my purse. So this one just kind of goes off to the side. No real rhyme or reason. Actually, let me put in the next item first. Uh, might make it a little bit easier. So I do have a sweatshirt here. It's a pretty thick sweatshirt just in case. Okay. Now, I really should take off all the all the lint before uh, I end up packing it in here. Okay. And this one I just kind of go along with the zipper instead of against it or against or uh, along with the um, the length of the keep all I should say. And then here is the shawl from Louis Vuitton and I just kind of prop that right on top. All right, let me just put those down, zip it up, nothing gets caught, and there we go. I have all my goodies inside of here. Thank goodness I have that shoulder strap because this thing is pretty heavy. Uh, all right, so I did want to mention, uh, kind of like I was saying throughout the video, that it is a, not only is it a weekend getaway, it's also a road trip. So I have two things that are missing out of here. So in a sense, I'm kind of cheating. Uh, the first one being a dress uh, that is going to be hanging in the car just because of the material that it is. I do not want it to get um, wrinkled at all. So it's missing out of here. And I'm sure the second item, you guys are probably wondering, okay, where's all your makeup? You know, what's going on with the makeup? Um, anytime we go on a road trip I like to have my makeup off to the side especially where we're going this time since it's uh, a little bit further away it's a seven hour drive so I want to have my makeup with me I want to try to look as fresh as possible whenever we stop somewhere or anything like that so anytime we do road trips I like to have them off to the side but if I or my uh, my makeup off to the side and uh, if we were using this for a weekend getaway and flying somewhere then I would end up putting my makeup in here and I would just take something else out so I would end up using my niece BB so this is kind of what I look like when I arrive I just have these two items and then my um, my handbag and my handbag is usually a little bit smaller it's usually my Chanel wallet on chain in this particular instance it's going to be my Louis Vuitton Palm Springs backpack just because of the versatility that it has uh, and also because it's very carefree uh, especially because of the destination uh, tends to rain at the drop of a hat I also wanted to do a really quick for instance just in case you guys want to know how the niece BB fits in here uh, since I do have it out it does take up quite a bit of space as you can see right there it's a little harder to <laughs> to be able to show this to you guys uh, just because it tends to be a little bit bulkier so I feel that you really have to bust out the uh, the Tetris skills so I just want to see I'm very curious as to how much I can fit in here so I do have my Chanel uh, espadrilles all right and with this one I have to put each one of the ballerina flats off to the side to kind of surround the niece BB Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I have one shoe here, one shoe on this side, and then the espadrilles right off to the side here. I have the three pairs of jeans to line it. Of course, I don't think I'll be able to fit the sweater. See, already it takes up so much space. But again, if you have smaller, uh, if you're going to a different, different destination, I should say, where you don't need that stuff, uh, where you don't need the extra, you know, layers of clothing. It might make it a little bit easier. So one shirt, two shirts, three, all right, my jam jams. This one goes in here. 
my unmentionables. <laughs> the jewelry case and maybe the jewelry case would fit better inside of the niece BB just as a for instance all right what else can I fit more let's do the extra purse would it fit in here maybe it's cutting it pretty close it's, it's going to be a little too a little too thick let's see so I can still close it up I can probably fit one other shirt in there not too much more but that's with the niece bb three pairs of jeans two shoes how many shirts was that two three shirts four shirts uh the wall or a, a dior wallet on chain and my unmentionables my pajamas and the jewelry case so that still fits pretty i mean a pretty good amount so all i'm missing are two shirts the cardigan slash sweater and then the other sweatshirt and the louis vuitton shawl but those again you can end up using on uh, on your body if need be so i took everything out again uh, and i put it up a little bit closer so you guys have uh you can see everything that was going in here uh, and hopefully the demonstration with the niece bb was able to give you a better visual just in case you're wanting to add this item to your collection and you want to see how it ended up fitting but overall i would have to say that this is the perfect weekend um luggage you know i feel that it's not too big it's not too small but you can still end up fitting quite a bit i mean come on you have a total of three pairs of jeans five shirts a sweater a sweatshirt a denim shawl uh pajamas um other items that go underneath my clothing uh two pairs of shoes I don't know if I said that already and then the uh, Dior wallet on chain as well as the uh, what's it called the jewelry holder that's quite a bit going in here you know and like I said I feel that rolling it up you really get to maximize your space and even if you were to go you know along the zipper or along the the length of the keep all I feel that that really even gives you a little bit more space instead of going um instead of going the way that I did because I, I think that it ends up filling up a little bit faster and you have a little bit more um, empty space on the sides. Uh, but still, I think that this is perfect. And, you know, I've said it before, don't ever judge uh, the size of something just by the looks of it because it can end up surprising you as to how much it can fit. And all of these goodies fit in here. You know, and now that I kind of uh, went back and forth with it, I think I'm going to switch out a few different items <laughs> because I'm not too crazy about what I'm taking with me. Uh, but yep, so that is the Keep All 45 Bandolier and all of the items that I fit inside. All right, you guys, so that does it for my How I Pack My Louis Vuitton Keep All 45 Bandolier. I hope that this video was helpful. Again, if you are looking to add this item to your collection, I really feel that it is a perfect size for those weekend getaways. So again, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the red button down below and hitting that bell so you're notified when I upload videos, which is anywhere from two to three times a week. And if you guys have any other videos that you want me to do, you know, how I pack it or what how it fits and things like that, let me know in the comment section down below. But again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.